we are still on the screen how nice this plus this equals to this this plus this equals to this the worry thing is that we haven't used these numbers so we're gonna quickly do what we did here and here just quickly do it quickly do it with me okay let's quickly do three Before we continue, guys, remember before we did them, um, we we're focusing on this number. So this was always multiplying this, was always setting this. So now we want a dynamic one where you can say 22 here, minus 5 or minus this and that. So, however, we need to store these numbers somewhere. They must go somewhere. So, what we want to do, every number that you click here, it will go here. Whether it's true, whether it's three or anything, it will go here. And then that's what you're gonna do. You're just gonna assign it here, right? Please assign it here, assign it here, assign it here, assign it here, assign it here. At first this will be zero. So what I'm gonna show you now it's this. Um, just copy this. Copy this. Copy this. Copy this. That's it. Okay. It is here. And set it. The build, the build, the get and see what it is now. It is now zero. But um, so every number, not just one, will go to store one. Even two will go to store one. Every number is going to store one. It's going on the left side. This is three. Change of things, change of things, change of things, guys. Even remember we are doing we are putting it on that side. Um, eight, nine, is this T T store one dot text equals to nine. That you can try to copy anything in the path of the new copies. We're doing the last one zero. Someone is saying what if I I want to Here it comes here, it does the calculations very beautiful. So when you, when you click five, it stores. I mean, here's five, it stores five to this storage, right? Now I'm gonna show you something because now you are putting numbers on top of another number. We need to add. We are not adding. We are concatenating them. Concatenating it means um, if I click six and I click seven, it must say sixty-seven. It must not say. Uh, it must not say thirteen. Yeah, it must not say thirteen, but rather it must say sixty-seven. When I click seven and I click six, it must say seventy-six. Right. So do this to all your numbers. You put a little plus there. Plus shift uh, shift plus on your computer and, um, I usually like to put my things all together. So this one and two and put it next to their products here. Give some space. He's there. So one. Yeah. Not much I did there. I was just copying these things. That it needs to get a one, two, three, instead of one, two, three, you divide, multiply, and then one, two, then you see. So it's now it's sort of in order. We want to call this numbers section. Let's see what it does now. Remember, in after the bill is finished, this one will be cleared and you click there. As you can see, um, default <coughs> our storage is zero, but there's something here we, I think we need to remove that zero there because what it's going to do now it's gonna always, even when we try to add this, it's gonna say zero. But what's nice, you can see the numbers now that we click 
are starting to show there. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to remove the, the, this there, just remove it. This is not good back and stuff like that. You don't want to complicate things. So let's build. Remember, we talk of 22 and 33. Let's try that. Another two. So it's 22, right? You see, so we can even go to 224. You see, that's how nice. And then we want to plus. And then we didn't say it must add the number here once plus is clicked, right? So what we now want to do is that um, you want to tell it that when we click these numbers because now you see our storage can take a lot of numbers unlike before it took one and now it can take any number 2245 um it can take any number so now we want it to say plus this storage too that's what we're going to be doing now the second. okay guys we're going to do something let's see we want to see 2245 plus 5 plus 6 or plus whatever. But now, remember, every number is going on the left. So, how are we going to add? Because as soon as I add another number, it's not going to get stored there. So, it, 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 it doesn't really give us a full view of, of what we want to add. Our calculator cannot work, work without adding a full number with a ghost number. So with an empty number, so storage two doesn't take anything. How do we do it now that storage two takes? There's a lot of ways. I want to teach you a very simple way. One is that, let's come here. Make storage two, say to it, storage two. Storage two, this text. Storage 2 is inactive. I want to show you something. We're going to start with 1. So 1 is going to say if txt storage 2 dot text double equals to inactive. Hey, this guy is inactive. Use 1. This guy is, is inactive. Numbers on the left. Until this guy says, hey, I can now take numbers. All right. That's what you're going to do for all these numbers. The easiest way is to say, copy this. Okay. I'm going to do else. Else here. Sorry. Let's do an else. Um, do this. Else. What you do? You are saying one must go to storage two. Else it means that if storage 2 is not inactive, it means it is now active and it's ready to take numbers, then put one on this side. So whatever number that you're going to have on 2, it might end up being like this. Because it now goes on the, okay. it now goes on the left. So this is way to take copy this. The easiest way now is for all the numbers. Remember this is number two. I can put it here so that it is number two. So it before it goes to one and then you want it to say in case one in case two is now active. is now active. Sorry about that. Just gonna copy this. Nice. 